And at 7.30 on a Friday morning, when you hear those lovely tones from Oklahoma, it means it's time for the first federal money program with Mr. Dick Belcher. Good morning, sir. How are Good morning. You? It's a pretty day out there. Beautiful day. Going to be a great weekend. Mm -hmm. Morning, Scott. Good morning, sir. Everything okay with you? Great, sir. Okay. What's this sir stuff? <laughs> <laughs> Don't call me, sir. I work for a living. Okay, we're going to have 75 today, and uh, uh, humidity is going to be tolerable. Yeah. And uh, we're winding down the fair today. Uh, going to have the big auction tonight. Yep, we'll be live for that on RTC TV4. You can. Are you? Yeah, you can't call in and bid, but you know you can at least watch what others are doing. Why don't you fix it so you can call in and You know, that's a good idea. Next year? Let's try it. All right. That, that way I can just stay at home. And I like just, it. Yeah. Watch it, bid. Yeah. As long as they make more money, they'll let us do it. That's right. Okay, now, uh, Baron, is it going to be uh, Pence running for vice president? I get the feeling that he probably wouldn't have flown to New York yesterday if it wasn't. That's just, you know, okay. the way I figure it. Okay, now we, we, there's hardly anything happening in the political world like for, uh, buys coming out of retirement. Indiana's so boring again. <laughs> <clears throat> well, Evan Bai, I was in a meeting right after, six years ago, right after he declared he wasn't going to run. Yeah. And he was not very complimentary of the system. He no, was sick was... and tired of the bickering of the politics and the... And, uh, but now he's going to come back. And yeah. Well, he was so sick and tired of Washington, D.C., he went out and became a lobbyist. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what they all do. <laughs> that's what I'm going to do when I retire. Yeah, you got to earn a living somehow. <laughs> I'm going to become a lobbyist. Okay, now, uh, our Governor Pence has to make a decision by uh, noon today noon as day. to whether he's going to withdraw from the governor's uh, race. Is that a print deadline for the ballots? That's yeah. a state deadline. Yeah, You've got to do that. Yeah. Gotcha. Thank you. That way it gives them enough time to pick a replacement, right? I guess. Because there's a time limit on that, too, if he says yeah. he's not going to Hol run. Holcomb and Brooks are favored to be picked. Holcomb. I was wondering who. Holcomb is the lieutenant governor now. Right. That was just, just took his uh, office a couple months ago, three months ago. And Brooke is a uh, lady from the Indianapolis area. She's a representative of so. Speaker of the House taking himself out of it, has he? Because a lot of people thought he might. I don't know. I haven't heard anything. Hmm. Okay, now we got the Republican convention starting. Why, yes, we do. In Cleveland, Ohio. They got. <laughs> it's kind of a joke, you know. <laughs> of course, of course, they, you know, the the rust city of the world. Uh, but the the basketball team won. Yeah. Rock and roll Hall of Fame. Rock and roll Hall of Fame there. <laughs> So, <clears throat> I think they had they said they got 40,000 security people. Yeah, they're going to beef, especially after last night, you know they're going to beef it up even more. Yeah. Hmm. Well, don't get in the, in front of any trucks. Or yeah, anything. you know. Well, anyway, it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out and, yeah. and listen to all of the uh, politicians' uh, speeches. Is there still going to be a ruckus out there? A what? A, a, a ruckus. The anti-Trump, they want to cause some commotion there still? Uh, yeah, I think so. That'll be interesting. Is Mike Tyson speaking? Because I heard he was. Mike Who? Tyson. Mike Tyson. The boxer? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you got a football quarterback, Tebow's going to speak, right? And uh, I heard that Tyson was slated to speak, but I could be wrong. Okay. <laughs> well... The way the political parties are now, you, you, you got to get some names. Anything's possible. You got to get some names. Then, all right, we got a little trivia here based on uh, the Fulton County Backpack Program. Welcome, Jackie. We're glad to have you with us today. Thanks. What? I'm sorry. Thanks for having me. Okay. Last year, how many uh, children in Fulton County received school supplies from the pack a backpack uh, program? Um, we no. gave out about. No, 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 no. no. Oh. Oh. Don't give it. Oh, this is trivia. A question. <laughs> okay, sorry. God, we, that's, <laughs> why, that's why we need a rehearsal. We do. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
Is the answer 150, 375, or 500? Now be quiet. Okay. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> I see uh, the court has rejected uh, Brady's defund gate appeal. Yes. <laughs> so we got a uh, his four game suspension is going to hold up. No oh, hum. As it stands now. Okay, some upcoming events. Uh, Rodney Nossiger and his 10-piece jazz ensemble will perform a free lakeside program Saturday at the 6th house south of the Oaks on Lake Manitoba. Oh, nice. So you, it's going to be a nice evening. Go out there on your boat. Friends of the Fulton County Parks and Recreation Department is raffling a 10-foot kayak. Tickets are $5 each. And the number is left, list, uh, limited to 250. I bought a ticket. I bought a ticket as well. Okay. It's a good cause. They're doing good things that's, with that. That's right. I want to thank Big R for helping them out. Tickets are available at First Federal Savings Bank, wherever that is, Webb's Family <laughs> Pharmacy, Fraunfelder Dental Clinic, and at the booth. Rochester Dairy Queen donates 10% of sales from 4 p.m. to close July 18th to the Fulton County Coral Club. They do that with a lot of different uh, uh, organizations. The club will also sing Sunday at the, you know, they did this. It's uh, 4 H Vesters. Uh, that was last Sunday. Yeah, last Sunday. They, they've done that. Yep. Rochester Police Department invites Rochester neighborhoods to join thousands of community nationwide for the 23rd annual National Night Out on August the 2nd. Going to have it out at the city park. They did that last year, right? They did. Had some good attendance. Uh, I think it's a great thing Andy and the guys are doing. Ada Mew Chapter of Scioto Zai Sorority has set the date for the 15th annual Fort Wayne Philharmonic. Holiday Pops concert at 7.30, November 26th. That's Plan great. ahead. They, they need to the support on that. The ticket sales certainly don't bring it in, and uh, a lot of organizations that donate towards that. And if you want more information, you can call Helen Inyard at 223-3354. All right, Scott, you know what a Chautauqua is? You gotta remind me, I've heard it. Okay. There's only one left in the state of Indiana. Okay. And that's in Remington, which uh, I'll be going to tomorrow. Okay. It's a two-week adventure. Well, in the Sentinel this morning, they have the column about a hundred years ago. Mm -hmm. Well, today they talk about it, that the city fathers are urge purchases of Chautauqua tickets. Rural, rural America all had Chautauquas a uh, hundred years ago. And it was a way, of course, before mass communication, uh, people could get together and uh, talk about politics, religion, art, whatever. And uh, I'm told, and I'm not sure that we always call those parties. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm told that the uh, term stumping <laughs> comes from. The Chautauquas that the politicians would come, quite often they would be in woods and where there were stumps that they could get up on and shout and holler. No kidding. Yeah. Now the one in Remington, is that, uh, how many people are expected? Well there are about 70 cottages okay. in the circle, there's a hotel, Wow. and uh, uh, our family has had the, the cottage there for 110 years. Wow. Wow, it's been there. You're kind of obligated to go then. I have a, I have a burden. Yes, yes. A nice burden. Yes. An obligation. Now, will you be there for the full two weeks? Probably. Wow, enjoy that. I will. Careful getting up off them stumps. Yeah, we don't use stumps anymore. Oh. We have loudspeakers. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Interesting thing about there, there's no television or air conditioning. <coughs> You're unplugged. You're unplugged. No television. That's a good thing. We no. should all do that for two weeks a year. But they, we can't get the cell phones away from them. Ah, that's a tough one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, moving right along here, I see uh, Isabel Scales won the Grand Champion Beef and Swine 
grand champion at age 11. Wow. Child prodigy. Woo. Okay. So flowers to her and also to all the 4-H people, volunteers, and people that uh, make that uh, uh, thing happen every year. And we, we had some of the 4-Hers on last week and talked about that. Well, I got weeds on here. I got to soften this up a little bit. I had uh, that uh, Ruth Ginsburg for calling Trump a faker. Well, he, now she's on her knees apologizing and saying, well, I really shouldn't have said that. Here you got a Supreme Court person. Now, Scott, isn't she the one that, uh, at the uh, State of the Union message when they showed the Supreme Court judge she was asleep? Yes, she was. I'll tell you something, huh? But she said she thought she'd had too much wine. Yeah, because Ann Scali used to go out and get lit up all the time. Okay. All right. Uh, okay, the Dow hit a record yesterday. 18,506. 18,5. 18,5, yeah. How long till we get to 20? I don't know. The USA Today headline says, Bull market still has plenty of room to run. And they did not have a question mark after that. So you know, perception is everything. So when the when the perception is out there to the public, oh, this market's red hot. We got to get on it. Yeah, well, that that'll push it up. So we'll see what happens. Larry Kudlow. Anybody know who he is? Yes. You do? <laughs> yes. You see what he advocated yesterday? Uh, no. Get rid of all the uh, the Fed members. Oh, they they all got PhDs. They don't know anything about real life. <laughs> yeah, like Larry Kudlow knows anything about real life. Oh. Suppose he's selling blood plasma to buy Christmas presents this year. Jamie Dimon got a pay raise this week. I saw that. Okay. <clears throat> don't get him started, Dick. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm actually embarrassed that I know who Donald he is. Trump was yelling out. Also, uh, well, yeah. I see Microsoft won the privacy case against the U.S. government. Yeah, we did. Woo. I didn't know that. See, you learn a lot on this program, Baron. <laughs> yeah, you do. Yeah. Well, last week uh, we had our Customer Appreciation Day at First Federal. Uh, we had a record crowd. Uh, uh, telephone, uh, or the TV was there, Channel 4, and uh, the radio, and... Uh, Lots of people. We had uh, 700 cups of ice cream, and it was all gone. So, well, you know, I might have had one or two of those myself, <laughs> or three or four, or three or four. <laughs> well, we think we probably served at least 600. Yeah, goodness, people. So. A lot of folks. It was a great time. Yeah, well, it was good weather, and uh, it was our 50th anniversary, and we we're uh, glad about that. We're open today from uh, until 5 o'clock, tomorrow on Saturday, 8.30 to noon. Our customers will soon, and some of, all, of us have already received our MasterCard dip, debit cards uh, with chip te technology. So we'll look for that in the mail if you're a customer of ours. Don't throw it in the wastebasket, and uh, you can dis uh, discard the Visa. We're switching from Visa to MasterCard. Still good time to look at refinancing. Interest rates continue to be very, very low. There's lots of opportunities probably still out there for refinancing. We're seeing a lot of uh, new home uh, construction applications and uh, that's a good sign for the, uh, that the economy is getting better and our delinquencies are down. So that's another good sign. First Federal is, is a uh, FDIC insured and an equal housing lender and our NMLS number is 399 or 9 or 27. Jackie Johnson, welcome. We're glad to have you here. Thank you. Glad to be here. Now, don't give the trivia away. I yet. won't. Okay. I won't. Well, you looked at me and asked the question, so I thought you wanted me to answer it. Yeah. That's why we need a rehearsal. <laughs> okay. Okay, Jackie Johnson, uh, uh, you're with the Fulton County Pack a Backpack yes. program. Mm -hmm. Give us the background on that and what you're doing and uh, what's happening. Okay. 
through well we founded this organization in 2007 and um, it's myself my husband my daughter and um, the fine staff at Tidewater Executive Tax Service and um, we've been giving out backpacks full of school supplies to the Fulton County children in need okay where'd you, where'd you get this idea and how, how do you select the children well, the idea came to me when I was treasurer for CASA because they used to run the program. And when they decided that they didn't want to um, do do it anymore, we went ahead and took over and kept it going. I see. Okay. Uh, give us give us some information on uh, budget. How much does it cost to do this program, and how do you distribute them? The budget. Um, it, now it used to be, when we first started out we could do it for about three thousand dollars now our budget is about ten thousand dollars because each year there's more children that are in need so we without answering the trivia question we give out quite a few backpacks and then the salvation army actually will deliver boxes to us every year and those boxes have just the basics like paper nap um, tissues pencils and crowns so after we give out what we purchased, then the rest, first come, first serve, will hand out the Salvation Army bags. Or they're the, they're just like little kids. I see. Okay. So, at what age gets these? Um, any age from kindergarten. Well, we've been we've given out a come some preschool ones too, but kindergarten to um, senior, they need them. All the way through. Mm -hmm. and, All the way through. And who makes that selection? Uh, who gets? Who does? Well, one one thing I can say about Fulton County is um, this program really has never been taken advantage of, so we don't have to have a process where you have to prove your income. Most people who call and are asking for assistance, they need assistance. Okay. So we don't have a selection process where you have to fill out an application and make below a cer certain amount. If you feel that your child is in need, you call and add your child or children to the list, and we pack a backpack for them. Okay, uh, what typically what's in that backpack? Let's say for a sixth grader. For a sixth grader, he's going to get, or he or she, they're going to get their a notebook, pencils, pens, calculator, tissues. No, well, there wouldn't be crowns in a sixth grader. We actually follow the list that's provided by the schools. So if you bring the list, we're going to fulfill that list. Okay. Uh, people out there that want to contribute to this uh, uh, tell us how they do that and is this uh, tax deductible absolutely we are a 5013c organization so any donation that you make will provide a receipt for you and you can write it off on your tax return and um, if you would like to donate you could call tidewater at 574-367-7366 or just stop by our office here on main street right across the street from the courthouse Okay, all right. Uh, so, are you having difficulty in raising money? And where, where does it typically come from? Well, it comes from the public and businesses in, around the area. Um, we were blessed last year, the um, Northern Indiana Community Foundation, we, we were awarded a grant of five thousand dollars so this year it's been amazing what we can do we actually bought the high school and there's five math teachers and we bought each math teacher 25 calculators wow. um, the T1 mm -hmm. the, 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 the algebra calculator mm -hmm. so we were able to do that we've never been able to help in that that with that extent so Normally we don't get that big of a grant, so we just have to count on local businesses and individuals um, to support us. Okay. <clears throat> Is, uh, we've talked oh, you about know what though, real quick, oh, Fulton County RMC always gives us a grant too, so we get a big grant from them, about $1,000 a year. So that's, they are one of our biggest contributors every year, is RMC. And that comes from the Roundup mm -hmm. program. Yeah, so I, I do want to say thank you to them. Okay. Well, we've talked on this program many times uh, about uh, this is our 50th anniversary, and, and we have a charity designation for each month of the year. And uh, this month, you are the designated charity. Thank and, you. And I want to present you a check for $1,000. 
That's an added bonus. I wasn't even okay. told about that. Okay. <laughs> That's a that's a windfall. For Thank you. you so much. We appreciate. Well, that's a great organization. Thank we you. Appreciate uh, getting involved in that. What else would you like to tell us about uh, the program? You have helpers that work on this. You need volunteers. We do need volunteers to help distribute the backpacks, and we're going to be distributing them July 25th through July 29th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. at Tidewater. So, if anyone would like to help with the distribution, just stop on by. Okay. And if your child is in need, call that number. Um, they're at Tidewater, and we will get them on the list. Yeah. Well, that's good. Now, what's your plans for the future? Are you planning on doing this every year? Absolutely. We love it. We love it. Um, my staff at Tidewater, for two months out of the year, we dedicate um, two months of our time to Fulton County pack a backpack So wow. we all just love doing it. We'll keep, we'll keep moving forward. Okay, now how did you and your family get so interested in this that you, uh, you're you're the uh, uh, organizer and instigator and the whole thing? Well, when we were doing it for Casa, we just in the satisfaction on the faces of the parents and the children, you you just can't beat. And once you start giving and seeing that people really appreciate it, it's hard to take it away. Sure. Now, Jackie, do you want uh, donations of, of monetary only, or do you also want s school supplies? Um, this year we are doing it different. In the past we asked just for monetary donations because we bought the kits for kids. I don't know if you remember that from our rate when I was with you. But um, now we're actually packing it off the list. So if you want to go to Walmart or Kroger, Dollar General, buy school supplies, bring them over. Great. We'll pack them. Great. But you won't turn cash down. Heck no. <laughs> <laughs> you can ask my husband. I've never turned down money. Okay. That's good. That's good. Well, congratulations. Thank That's you very it. much. And thank you for this. Yeah, you're welcome. This is you're wonderful. Welcome. Okay. Now, our trivia this morning was uh, last year, how many children in Fulton County received uh, school supplies from Pack a Backpack program? 150, 375, or 500? What do you think, Baron? I'll go with a high one, 500. 500. I said 500. Jackie's nodding her head, yeah. so I'm yeah. saying well, 500. Well, we gave out 400 backpacks full of school supplies, and the the um, remaining 100 just got the smaller kits because yes. we did run out last year after 400. And um, this year, we were able we we're able to. We've got 500 right now. We're going to be at Kroger's tomorrow at um, 10 a.m. We've got the fire trucks going to be out there. They're going to hang a 100-foot rope. And hopefully our goal is to fill that rope up with backpacks and school supplies. So you guys can come out there and help too. So hopefully with that um, fundraiser tomorrow, we could have about six to 700 backpacks. So Wow. This yeah, is our so best year ever. You didn't tell us about the fire truck. I'm, I'm trying to get it all out. It's okay. <laughs> I should have wrote things down. I thought I could just do this, you know, mm -hmm. without writing anything down. Should have practiced again. <laughs> Rehearsed. <laughs> okay, you're going to have the fire truck tomorrow at 10 o'clock out of Kroger's mm -hmm. with a 100-foot rope. Yep. They're going to hang it from the bucket, and we're going to fill it up. Hopefully. Now, and what do you mean, fill it up? Well, I got these little tie ties, and I'm going to, if you give me a backpack, I'm going to tie it to the rope, and then they're going to pull it up, and we're going to so have So hopefully you're going to have 100 foot of backpacks going up into the sky. Mm -hmm. And <coughs> how often on the rope do you put a backpack? Every foot? Or you know, that's a good question. This is our first <laughs> year doing it, so we're going to have to play it by ear. You could come out I, there and measure that for me if you'd like. But okay, now, <laughs> okay. I'm losing control here. <laughs> I, I would suggest about uh, nine to twelve inches every 12, nine to twelve inches. Now, so you're going to have the backpack out there at Kroger's? Mm -hmm. We're going to have a booth set. Okay. Now, what's it going to cost to buy one of those or sponsor one of them? Uh, well, whatever Kroger's is selling the backpacks for. So oh, you're going to go into Kroger's. They have school supplies and backpacks for you to purchase. I see. Unless you want to bring your own. If you have a used backpack at home and you yeah, just you want to refurbish backpack. it, you can bring that. You don't have to. In go good condition. Exactly. Right? <laughs> in good condition. You don't have to go and um, actually purchase one. We, we will take a used one. Okay. That's good. All right. Now we got the plug in for Kroger's for uh, tomorrow at 10 o'clock. How, how long? From 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Okay. Tomorrow. And the fire truck will be there? Yes. Okay. Put that on our Facebook page. 
Oh, you're, are you going to put that on your Facebook page? Yeah. yeah. Put that on. We'll I will. Need, absolutely. We need to go to our Facebook page and put her on there. Too. Sure. Absolutely. How did you count in the fire department doing this? Well, we were outside of uh, Walmart last year. One of the vo volunteer fire um, men came up and suggested us suggested to us that we do it. So um, we called them and asked them, and they graciously said yes. Oh, good. Okay. So if there's no fire, so. <laughs> They'll beat it down with a bunch of backpacks, won't they? Exactly. <laughs> Subject two, no fires. Jackie Johnson, thank you for uh, coming in this morning and discussing uh, this program, and, and uh, good luck in the future. Okay, let's close with these words of wisdom from Ziggy Ziglar. Did you ever hear of him? Absolutely. Ziggy Ziglar spoke to our Chamber of Commerce, I think, in the 80s. No kidding. And he'd written a lot of inspirational books motivation books and he's a motivational speaker and he says you don't have to be great at something to start but you have to start to be great something that's very good okay yeah, right <laughs> that's very good thank you baron thank you dick thank, thank you, you scotty thank you. thank you ladies thank you one and all first federal money program comes your way friday mornings at 92.1 WROI. On the way, we have ABC News. your first home? Let the experts at First Federal Savings Bank help you through the process. At First Federal, all of their mortgage loans are serviced locally with payment options that are convenient for you. Their staff will work with you answering your questions and providing professional service. First Federal will even pay standard closing costs for qualifying first-time home buyers. Just another way, First Federal takes care of you, your local mortgage lender.